Greetings, gentle beings. Nightingale here. I'm back with more into the breach. Left off secure at the first island. And debating on what island I want to do next. I'm thinking that one's got the rock thing. I don't know. Do you do that earlier? Eh. My guys even have. Hmm. What should I do right now? That's two damage. Yeah, I should probably get that first thing. Even though it'll make it so I actually take damage then. Just three seems to be a better balanced number to have on it. Which one do I want to do? It's got the rock thing. Don't really like that. Explosive, but that's the spider enemies or this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Because the boss actually gives me a chance to do the I still have the one achievement. It requires me to get four guys in a single laser. So I'm thinking that one gives me an option, a chance for getting that. Advise us to insist we're losing the fight. Also insist I trust you. <laughs> and since those cowards rarely insist I do anything, I'm giving you a chance to prove yourself. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that endorsement. Ooh, there's a triple and then a... Oh, what's it? High threat detected, so that means an extra enemy, I think. Defend the bombs, protect the power generator. I'm guessing that means there's an extra... Yeah, extra alpha. Ugh, those are in terrible spots. Holy crap. Do I want to do that one? I mean, that one's a pretty easy one right there, but... I want to get to that powered core thing. I could technically do it this way, but I don't know what that one's going to be. This is the, like, super easy. So I guess that's the question. Do I do the super easy ones and continue, or do I try for the hard one and get the extra two? What am I going to have to fight technically two, four? Potentially eight or seven if I go six if I go this way. Because you'll get two for the last mission. That's two. It's two, four. Two, possibly this, six. And then maybe that one to get up to eight. Or if I want, I can snag this one. Stick with the six. I guess the question is going to be what the second alpha is. Oh, the buildings are all right in the center. I feel like this one could go bad. <laughs> Mostly because of this cluster of buildings and then the bombs that I have to defend. How much is my laser doing again? Four, three, and then... How many upgrades do I absolutely want to get? Probably that one. That one. Maybe one of these. So really I just have two. and then potentially extra.
So really, I only need two more for the powers. So that one, so I don't really need to get the extra things is my point. I don't know, that just seems like the extra thing. I'm going to go with the easy mission. It's been a while since I played. I want to get back into it and not start on challenging mission. Alright, so what I got? I got... Yeah, see, they all got three health, so getting that guy's damage up is probably going to be a thing. Where all can they go? Didn't even look. All over the place. Because it's only a single attack. Yeah, these guys are actually pretty easy, huh? put him there just to defend. Yeah. Not sorry, he can move and defend any of these things. He can run up this way and smack somebody. I was hoping I could actually just run him over there. Oh well. Stop him from popping up. Nah. I was thinking this guy would be able to move though, that's kind of annoying. I mean, I could literally just ignore him for this turn if I wanted to. Chuck him there. He won't actually damage the building, so it doesn't matter. Sitting here doesn't really do anything, though. But it'll stop the enemy from coming up. Actually, fall away, huh? That hit didn't do anything. He comes up, gets smoked, and he's stopped. That's taken care of now. If you're gonna repair yourself, I forget if I was going for any of the like, don't repair yourself things. Kill them. Oh. He might be in trouble, but we'll see. Let's see if he gets locked down. Ooh, what does that guy do? He goes underground, right? That's that, but that's simple enough. So let's like I move him there. Should still do three, right? He's not very stable.
and he's on sand. Oh, I didn't even realize that he's on sand, huh? I mean, that's gonna cut off access to here, so it'll have to be ones that can move, right? Again, I can repair him. Just keep him healthy. Can attack. He's gone. All right. So the land's cut off now. He's still blocking that guy, and now two are gonna pop up, and hopefully none of them immediately lock him down, because he's gonna be in trouble if they do. That's awkward. And lockdown? Yeah. Well, shoot. I don't think I can actually save him. I mean, I kind of can, but he's going to get zapped by his own guy, and that's just going to kill him. Yeah, shoot. I messed up. He going to die, because I can't do anything about that. Shoot, I already screwed it up. Which one was he? None. So he's just a random person anyways. I didn't actually get him anything yet. That poor guy. I wonder how much damage this guy did. Five. Like just randomly does five, okay. stops that. Okay. Well. Rid of him. And I can't really do anything about you, buddy. Uh, shield yourself. <laughs> Too bad it's not a push, huh? I wonder if it would be better to get a push one. Unfortunately, that would just wreck that building. I can do about any of these guys. They're all aiming for him. Yoink. Can't really do anything with them. Let me turn, nothing happens. Figures I take the easy mission, but I left him out. Yeah. To be fair, he was already pretty much just sitting there doing nothing. Silver farms. They're kind of annoyingly placed as well. As long as they all move, like, he's gonna move. I need to know where all can he go. 
from just any of these. He can go all over the place. And he... I mean, I pretty much gotta chase down this guy with this one, huh? At least he'll burrow. expecting, but that'll work. Actually, it won't, because it's going to screw up things, isn't it? I'm actually positioned completely wrong. Holy crap. I can't. Oh, God dang it. Really? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, I can hit him. Okay. Smack, they'll go underground. Saved all the buildings. There we are. <laughs> Blocks. And what do I got? All kinds of stuff. cancels their attack or not. Shields again. Right in. Building's still gonna take a hit probably, but it's not the that thing. Darn. I was hoping maybe it would block it. Block. Now they all have more health. Lovely. Oops, he's aiming for him. Ooh. Now nah, he's gonna move. Darn it.
Once again, wish I had a push. <laughs> Out of those. Sorry. Everyone is positioned wrong. Every time. He's actually aiming this way. Now if I just move this, so if I move these two guys, they just kind of clear them out. Huh. just conveniently in the way <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Get rid of him. Come up here. Zap them for as much as I can. This guy Come over here and repair. He'll survive the hit because of the shield. Okay. Stop. Nothing. Supposed <laughs> to get boosted. Once again, threatening me there. is not a problem. This is the last turn, so. He'll take a hit, but that's okay. No way for me to do that that I can kill him, right? Don't think so. This guy I can literally just move. He'll be fine. Oh. Yeah, it's the last turn. Let me take a look at it. I'm on a reset. I just want to see what it looks like. Nah, there's no way to move him. Could go up here and fry these guys. That'd be amusing. So I could technically kill two guys with this guy. And then but then I wouldn't get that guy killed. Basically that guy would become a problem. Because I could go up here and kill these two. Oh no, I could actually do it this way, couldn't I? Hit this, and I'll kill him, he'll lose one, then he can just yoink him into himself. Oh, this guy doesn't actually have a, a thing, so do this first. Zap. Let's 
just kills both of them. And then I can just go over and smack him off this thing. I think they got a little bit more experience for that. There we go. Got my energy grid back up. And now I'll go for this one. And another high threat, huh? Defend the Earth, move air, take less than three grid damage, protect the defense lab. Alright, so where's the defense lab? There's the. Gotta protect that thing. Oh, it's one of these missions. Okay, there's the lab. So we got. Annoying alphas, huh? Which one are you? Firefly. So he just shoots things. Two for two damage. This guy, which is annoying, and they got a health thing. So much health. And what does this thing do? Just makes more. Save the land. And I gotta defend this thing. Everywhere. Lovely. So the question is, are they gonna attack me or the buildings first? <laughs> Let's see, if he moves there, he can hit these two. I know my laser guy can take care of them. This guy's gonna have to just hit the building, right? Well, maybe not, because maybe it gives him land. He's moving well, can I? Literally two. can't actually reach anything but the earth mover, huh? So he has to go for this thing, basically. Or, if I put a guy here, then he'll probably go for the guy. So if I put a guy here, he'll go after either... If I put a guy anywhere, he's either going after my guy or he's going after the earth mover. He's got four, so this guy has to be the one to kill him. So either here or here. This guy can shoot, so he could just scoot over and... Although, depending on what the Earth Mover does. Okay, he could technically scoot over and shoot one of the buildings. But if he does that, my... Guy that can yoink people might just be able to yank him forward one and right off the cliff. This guy is needed to kill that guy or possibly that guy if I can hit this in the beam as well. These movements are only really there or like over there, so I think right here is the spot for him. Which allows me to be able to run for it and shoot that way with it if I possibly. As far as these guys go. Hmm. He's annoying, but I said I might be able to yoink him. This guy can't actually kill anyone, but. put him here. Well, nah, because I'm going to need to be able to, just in case he needs to be able to get to the defense lab, thinking more like here. Should allow him to move three and then go that way or over here and hit him that way. Yeah. And then like I said, then this guy, I'm thinking it's going to be more on this side. Can he lock people down? No, but he can hit two people in a row. He's annoying. But maybe if I set up a three, maybe it would be too much to resist, and he'll just try and clobber all three of my guys. Him there. Alright. Now to see where they move. Probably completely different than what I thought, but let's see. Oh, he's just aiming for me. Okay. 
and he comes up right there. I mean, that's a lot better than I was expecting. He goes first. How much does he do? Oh, the Firefly does three damage. Yeah. That wouldn't be enough. Literally just go there and block a guy coming up. Might be a way to do it. That guy doesn't actually die if I do it that way. He can take the hit. But should he have to? This guy on sand. do as much oh I have a plan do I have a plan Positioning. All right. Smack your own guy. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. Move back one. Darn. <laughs> does he have right now? One, two, I think he has like six. him that gets him out of the thing. The trick is trying to figure out like if I move he hits that building. I can yoink him over and that'll get him to hit him. smack this guy into him, for, or I can laser these guys, that'll kill that, almost kill that. The 
whole thing's just not quite dying is going to be a problem. It's like, yes, I can hit this. He'll be down to one. Can kill that one, I think. Yoink him and it'll. But yoink him. This way. That'll get him killed by that, maybe? Or they'll just both hit each other and be on one health. It's probably more likely it's gonna happen. Him being down to three. Oh, wait, that's not enough, is it? Oh, well, he'll be down to. Two, because he'll lose one and he'll take one damage from my laser zapping him. So this guy will be able to kill him. That's my point. So I'll be under this guy and then two badly injured ones, basically. Yeah. Let him take the hit. Even though he doesn't need to. How much does this guy do? Three. If I yank him over. Okay. The guy yoink him over puts him in line of fire him. I'll have to hit him up one, yoink him over, and then this guy will have to walk over to here and zap that way. And I think that works. Hit him that way. Yoink him. Move him up here and zap that guy. There. Blocks the guy coming up, kills an extra one. I like it. Miss. Ooh, nice. He killed him. Okay, never mind. I didn't check the attack order. Yeah, all right, he can kill him. That's not a problem. Where are you going? There.
There we are. Protected. Simple. And I got my little energy thingy. Woot. Alright, so I got my power core. And yes, because we need I need that three damage on him. Cause that's just enough to make it worth it. If I get if I find myself in possession, ah, possession of an extra army, that can just help. Back up choking on my own. Let's like, take a drink. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Now which one do I want to take? Do I try the crazy one? More mech damage. Defend the train. What's the train looking like? Crappy. I don't know how I feel about the defend the train thing. Too many enemies to do like area effect. This one's defend the buildings and the power station. And about less than four mech damage. I mean, I kind of just took a thing that... It's like that power-up just made it that one harder. I just don't like this. Them being surrounded by enemies immediately. It's too interwoven. I can't get a good line of sights. I'm thinking it might be worth it to go for that one, actually. Not like I've been taking a ton of damage. I'll take more now. Crack tile. Turn into a chasm. Okay. Interesting. I haven't actually apparently I haven't actually run into one of those yet. Good to know. I wonder if that was, this game just had an update. I wonder if that was something that was added. I didn't check the patch notes. <laughs> patch notes for nerds. Uh, okay, so what am I looking at? These guys being annoying. Yep. This guy also being annoying. So I place him here. There's just guarantees he can get at these two, which he is most likely the one to kill. Put one on this side. To my bed. Put him there. You. There. Yes. You, I'm not sure about. Somewhere that he can get to shoot shields and things. Basically, means on this side. So, like. There. Let's see how that works. <laughs> oh, a pod. Hi, pod. Well, there's an easy shot. Huh? Ooh, got a double choice here. The ground cracks. What the heck? You two just came up out of nowhere. Okay, so... What'd that say about the crack tile? So as long as I crack that tile, he's gone. I guess I gotta see if it works like that, huh? Yep. Alright. Got the pod. Zapped him. Ah, 
I don't know about any of you. I suppose I can just... Can these guys lock people down? Yes. No. No, they cannot. That seems like a good use. Oh, that's right there. Okay, so I guess this was the reinforcements this time instead of... So there we go. That guy's dead. Interesting. You can't attack from there, unfortunately. But... Hmm. Dies if I. He's the one that's hitting both of them. So these guys aren't actually doing anything, and he doesn't hit anybody if I don't smack him. I mean, he doesn't even take damage from that. Actually, kill this one if I want to. Okay. Guys, nice. you. I don't have to do it with you. Could you like this guy over one? That'll make him not be able to be annoying. But he might just go for that. <laughs> I'd go for it anyways, but I feel like positioning him a little bit more to this side is still a better idea. Yes. Annoying. Not a problem. Kind of annoying. technically can't actually damage those. Run him up and block those two. Just put them all at zero danger. I, mean, I can kill this guy if I wanted to. Just do that. Kill him without taking the damage on the things. And then just defend those. Might be the way to do it. Unfortunately, I gotta repair him or something this next turn. Alright, that's a little better. It's a lot better, actually. Wish I could actually yoink him, but. He's not gonna actually hurt it.
Yoink. And just repair you just to be safe. There. Okay. Save. Oh, he, oh he's in smoke. Right. Okay. Complete. And got a time pod. What's in the time pod? Our power core. Alright. Before that. There. So I got the two power ups I wanted. To the corporate building. This isn't too bad of a setup. Four. Okay. <sighs> Darn, I'm gonna have to. Oh, they do have. They have the bonus already. There first, just in case. To undo. No, that's right. Just in case if this accidentally blocks me out somehow. Still gonna be a bit awkward here. Nothing. Nothing. Where's he gonna pop up? He's gonna be a problem.
Let's see. My buildings are all in trouble. This doesn't matter so much, but... Oops. Oh. Okay. Can we just... Go mad you guys. And... Alright. That takes more power damage there. But maybe that wasn't the right move, because I already killed five Qs, I think. Not sure. So maybe I did that wrong. I realize it didn't need to actually kill the thing. Completed every mission, so I get the bonus thing, huh? I mean, two mech HP is nice. Needing the one power to deploy though. Well, that's just for the special though. Hmm. I'm thinking I might need the energy grid more though. So I'm thinking I might just run the hive after this. On what is the question? I mean, it's good that that exists, but do they extra bomb? Those all require too much, though. They require energy. What all do I need? power cores, but I don't have enough reputation for that, unfortunately. Still feel a reactor core is needed, but I think I'm just going to go with the energy for that, because that should set me up for the island. Now the question is just, do I want more health on one of these guys? Probably this guy, right? Though the other thing will die, it really only has so many uses. Alright. That's it for that island. I'm going to call this part here. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, or comment below. And I'll see you next time.